So I've just finished a Zoom with Fergus Garrett. And man, that guy is just so on fire. And one of the things we talked about, which I've never talked about with anyone actually before, is really the secret of his success, the way his mind works, which is really, I, I guess, um, quite idiosyncratic. But how would one know? One only knows how one's own mind works and maybe his is normal and mine's the idiosyncratic one. But just listen to what he has to say about the way, the way his mind works. You want to see my mind map? Look, I so want to see your mind map. I'd love to know the way your mind works, mate. <laughs> I tell you, you are the unbelievable, the expert in mind maps. Like, <laughs> is that what your brain looks like? <laughs> look, um, so look, this is, this was, I did one. That's all the work we're doing at the moment, okay? Right. Right? <laughs> all of that. So we're ongoing work. We're weeding, we're pruning, we're mowing, we're deadheading, we're seed sowing, picking out, potting on, cuttings of various things. And we're do juggling that. I'm going through this rather quickly for you, but there's more detail behind yeah, it. We're juggling that. With so I'm going to just cut this little bit out. This will be available in some other shape or form. But since this is just about the way Ferg's mind, mind works, let's leap to the end of that section of the conversation season bedding that's out there with Hesperus, Foxglove, Lithmus, Coronaria, Salvia, Scleria, that will finish in June, July. And for that, we will have the early dahlias, cuttings of Salvia, safe sown Cosmos, Pajitas, etc. That will feed into that, you see? So this is sort of, this, this is what you're going to bed with. That's why we're not sleeping. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, and, I... Then, and then there are, from that, there are other sort of drawings, which I won't bore you with. <laughs> well, look, I... <laughs> I, I, I did stumble across some of your mind maps in 1991 on the table in the Yeomans Hall when yeah. you and Christo had gone visiting some gardens and you had recorded these in your very Fergus Garrett mind mappy sort of way. And to be honest, it does make me wonder if your ability to kind of spatially organise that information is part of what fuel um, empowers you to outwork that in the garden. It does. You've got to, I, I'm very, uh, you're absolutely right there. I, I have to, I have to put things in the sort of boxes. So otherwise it's too much. You know, to, so I have to put these in sort of, and then I work on the box and then I prioritize something and the weather changes and then you prioritize something different. If I didn't sort of do it, put these into those categories, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to cope with it. Really. And that, that amazes me because I feel like, like I remember when I saw them and I didn't know you at all because I had not met you at that point. You were, you were off in the south of France or something at that stage. And I just saw these, pa these A4 pages, Mapperton. I remember you visited Mapperton yes, yeah. and you had all these arrows and things. And it was the first time that it occurred to me that I didn't have to organise my thoughts in a linear top left to bottom right fashion. Sure. And, and it really feels to me like somehow the fact that your brain naturally works in that compartmentalization, there is a spatial organization of the information in your brain does, uh, is, an, is clearly, and, and by your own confession now, uh, an important part of your, in, your capability to outwork it. So that's amazing. Yes, yeah, it is. And I'm a visual person. I never went to school, really. I spent half the time just kicking a football on the street until, you know, so I, I sort of, I did manage to get through education in one way or another and went to university. I don't know how, but it, I wasn't you know, an academic in that way. But I've, I, my mother decorated her food beautifully. And I think that's part of, you know, I, so I, there's a creativity there. And then this is the way my brain works. So I think that's, that's the only way I can do it. I, I can't, if I try to make these sort of linear lists, Michael, it just does, I can't. I can't see through it. Mm, that's fantastic. <laughs>